Also, Game Corner Casino is open. True. I will say I will get one of those Pokemon because I know that they're all like pseudo legends and I don't want to be too OP. These are all of the Pokemon that we can pick. I don't, how much do they cost? Okay, so we'll get to that at some point. <laughs> Let's go see what this guy has to offer. Surely we don't throw the run, right? <laughs> That's all you got, dude? That's all you got? Come on. You just got to eradicate? Come on. I sure hope my Caesar can kill this Liopard, man. Yeah, buddy. The fact that they made the song this song, but in Gen 3 sound font, is one of my favorite parts about this entire thing. Typically, Giovanni is centered around ground types, okay? Um, I think Ludicolo, properly EV trained, I think would be a really good opportunity for us, like a really good Pokemon to have. Though its IVs are kind of bad. So this is something that we could maybe work with. Um, I think Gyarados could also be very big for us because of its immunity to ground moves. Um, and the fact that this is such a good Gyarados, we could EV train it properly, get it leveled up. It would be good to go. I think this would be a good idea. He likely is gonna have a Kangaskhan because for Erica, they gave her a Mega Venusaur. So they're introducing these Mega Evolutions in these last couple of big fights. I'm gonna assume because Kangaskhan is so broken as a Mega Evolution, I'm gonna assume they gave Giovanni a Mega Kangaskhan and that I have to deal with that in some capacity. Frillish is also an interesting option because it's part ghost. So having a Frillish, would allow us to swap into, like if Kangaskhan goes for a normal type attack, we could maybe swap into Frillish to eat the attack. Though I'm guessing they probably gave it something like Crunch or Knock Off to deal with ghost types. So we wouldn't be able to like leave it in there necessarily. I doubt they'd give him Mewtwo on the first battle, right? The first Giovanni battle, they would give him Mewtwo. Can't wait for me to get a gifted when you white out. We're not whiting out, dude. This is a dub. This is a massive dub we're going to have. As far as encounters go, because of the Snorlax, there's not really any encounters that we can get. So we're kind of in a just got to do what we got to do kind of thing. We also don't have a lot of priority on this team. We are kind of just banking on raw speed. <laughs> there is not a lot of priority here. We just hope for the best, maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We just got to get in there. Give it a shot. Do our best. Hope that our prep was enough. Oh, uh, come on, look at this. Look at it. You can't tell me that he does not have a Mega Kangaskhan. Look at this. Look. He got Mega, he's got, it's, it's just standing there next to him. Like, this is like a no brainer. This is, this is a no brainer. Okay, okay. He's got five Pokemon. Okay. He's starting with a Nidoking. Okay, so we can't poison that and we can't really stay in against that either. Um, in the event that there's a sash, we break the sash here. Although there's not much we could really switch into. Maybe we do have to stay in. Let's just go for Scald. Fuck it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. We have a good bulk. We have good bulk. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? That one shot? Fuck, man. If it's a special attacker, that means it has to be like Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Sludge Bomb, like that kind of Nido King. If it's that strong with a special attack like Sludge Bomb, it has to be. We just got to hope for the best here. Okay, you did switch out. Okay, there's the Kangaskhan. We're going to get a free Scald here. Oh, and we get a big burn. That's a big burn. Okay, that is a big play. That's actually pretty huge. That has to guarantee a dark move, right? That has to guarantee it. I mean, this is what we have a Scrafty for. Send in Scrafty, Intimidate, make its attack even lower. I'm, ass I'm assuming it Mega Evolves here. Oh, it has Inner Focus. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm really glad we got the burn then. Wow, that's crazy though, it has Inner Focus. Okay. Uh, There's Crunch, okay. It's not beat up at least. <gasps> that did nothing. Why is my screen tweaking out? Why is it doing that? Please stop. It's going for Power Up Punch. That did nothing. Okay, I don't know why it's doing a full screen effect. That's really annoying, but this is like a guarantee kill on Kangaskhan. Yes, okay, 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 okay. Kangaskhan is off the fucking field. Oh. <laughs> why do you have a monkey? Obviously he has a fighting move. That's why he would switch into it here. It's gotta be max speed, max attack for sure. 
with like a charcoal maybe, or like a, like a berry to reduce like a super effective hit maybe. I'm gonna imagine it's Flare Blitz, Close Combat, most likely Thunder Punch, and then I don't know what its fourth move would be, but that feels like a pretty standard like setup there. Maybe its ability is like Iron Fist, so maybe it's Fire Punch. In that case, they could give it Drain Punch instead of Close Combat. That could be a set here. Maybe this is the Focus Sash. I didn't even think about that. This could be the Focus Sash Pokemon to guarantee that it gets to like nuke something. Oh man. Okay, 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 okay. The obvious choice here is swapping into our Frillfish. Obviously. This, okay, it's Cloak Combat. It's not Drain Punch. That's actually good. It doesn't have a way to heal. Okay, this is our way to see, does it have an electric move? So at this point, Foreskin's done his job. At least I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's no other bullshit I need it for. I think that'd be a good play. We can intimidate here and then see what else it has. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. That, that's a little scary, but that tells me that maybe it doesn't have an electric move. I don't know. I know it's going for close combat here. So that just counteracted my intimidate. I'm just gonna go Scald. I mean, at this point, just go Scald. I feel like that's an obvious choice here. That has to be Focus Sash, right? Fuck it. <laughs> I need to see what it's going for. I'm gonna intimidate, get rid of that Swords Dance. It does have Thunder Punch. I fucking knew it. I'm gonna let it die. Oh, I could have actually... Hmm, that's fine. I could have done a better play there, actually. But it's fine. I can now go into Bench here. We can go for Fake Out and guarantee the kill. Nice, okay. Why is his name Foreskin? Uh, if, if you know, you know, man. Rotom? Wait, which Rotom form is this? Is this like Psychic Rotom? What is this? Wait, this is a fridge. Is this Ice Rotom? Oh, I see the typing now, okay. Okay. If it's Electric Ice, that is not good for us. That's actually very bad for us. Because <laughs> we just lost our fighting type. Oh boy. Okay. Is this a whiteout? Not necessarily. There's two Pokemon left. Let's try this, because we can't stay in here. It's going for Frost Breath. This guarantees a critical hit, but it's not that strong. Okay, so now it has to go for, I'm assuming, an electric attack. I'm going to assume, and there's no way it doesn't, right? I'm going to hope that Doge Friend can switch into this and not take too much damage. Willow Wisp? Why? Why? Why would you go Willow Wisp? You have a free electric attack. Oh, well, I'm just going for damage, I guess. I. That does nothing. How fast is this thing, I wonder? I wonder if Rillaboom would outspeed it. At this point, I have to let Doge Friend die because I can't switch into this. Okay, it has free... Oh, that's what its move would be. That is its strong move against our... Okay. Wow. Will-O-Wisp freeze dry? Okay. I mean, we get free damage here with Bench. With Fake Out. But then what do we do? Do we outspeed this thing? Like, that's the thing. I don't know if we outspeed. There's the Citrus Berry. Rotom is typically not that fast of a Pokemon. Drain Punch is super effective. That's 75 power versus 120. Super, I mean, I guess Drain Punch is the better play, but Woodhammer gets Stab. I'm banking on the fact that Rotom's not usually a super fast Pokemon, and we can maybe outspeed it. Fuck it! It outspeeds? How is it so fast? Is this max speed Rotom? Like, you've gotta be fucking kidding me, man. <sighs> like, I just don't have anything I can do. Why do you have a Rotom? Why does he have this? I'm like trying to think like if there's anything, any option I have at this point. For some reason, this thing is outspeeding everything I do. I just gotta go for Scald. It's all I can do. Maybe get a burn. I mean, okay. It goes for Volt Switch. Okay, that's its electric move. Well, we're gonna get back up to basically full health here from Recover. You still got, oh, you have a Haunch Crow. Oh God, why? <laughs> why? Oh. <laughs> Dude, okay, I mean, I think there is only one play we really have here. I do not know why it went for that, but this is my play. Okay, that's what I thought was gonna happen. The only play I have here, chat. 
I have to get a Dragon Dance with Gyarados. The only play I have is Dragon Dance and then trying to sweep with Aqua Tail. That is the only play, because I do not think I outspeed enough with just my max speed Gyarados. And I need the attack boost to probably kill this Honchkrow. This is the only play I have. This is for the run. I have to hope that that's enough speed. Please, 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 please. Okay, there's one. There's one. Nido King comes in. We should outspeed. Please, Gyarados. Please outspeed the Rotom. Please outspeed the Rotom. I just need you to outspeed Rotom. You need to live for one turn. One turn, Gyarados. Yes! 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 Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, fuck yeah! Oh my god! Oh, I can't believe we clutched that. Oh my god! I can't believe it. I can't believe we clutched that. Oh my fucking god, dude. The run lives. <laughs> the run lives, boys. Oh my god. Oh. First fucking try, dude. First try. Honestly, I'm just so glad. We literally, I don't know if we win that, if it's not for the fact that the Haunch Crow, for some reason, went for Heat Wave. I don't know why it went for Heat Wave on our Jellicent, but it did. Which blows my mind. <laughs> it blows my mind that it went for that instead of Night Slash. But I will take it. I guess maybe it thought that Night Slash wouldn't kill in one hit. I don't know. But if we don't get Rain Dance there, I don't know if we one-shot that with Gyarados. That's insane, dude. Oh my god. Maybe he predicted for a switch? Maybe, but why would he go into, I mean, maybe thinking I had a Steel type or something? Maybe? Like, I don't know. All I know is that we just clutched the shit out of that. What was all that for? A required battle. I had to do it. It was gatekeeping our progress. It was a battle we had to do to get the Sylph Scope so we could go through the Ghost Tower because we have to get the Poke Flute, which means now we have to go through the Ghost Tower. <laughs> Awesome. We basically won that 5v5. We didn't even have like a one Pokemon advantage because Ludicolo did like nothing for us. <laughs> I don't think I c This is our encounter? Wow. This is a good encounter. Uh, I just have to find a way to lower its health. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I feel like we have to name this after Rune, dude. I feel like we have to name this Spellbender. Gotta name it after the Rune. Oh shit, Spellbender, there you go. <laughs> the bulk on this, even with bad IVs, pretty good. This is un-EV trained as well, so certainly an option. Okay, it's an Alolan Marowak level 58 and it's shiny. Wow. We'll get the Intimidate here. Although I think Alolan Marowak is actually a special attacker. Aura flared to life. Attack Rose, oh, it's cringe. Oh, that's what it is, okay. Um, how does that hit me? Isn't that a ghost move? Hello? Uh, I'll go for damage, I guess. Has Thunder Punch? Please don't one-shot me. Please do not one-shot. That would be really cringe of you. Okay, this is GG. Ooh, we got rid of Thunder Punch, though. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a chance. Dragon Dance. How is that... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's just, it's fine, dude. It's okay. We just, we're, we win. It's GG. We're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Surely we outspeed. Thank you. We're fine. Easy. <laughs> Zero issues, dude. It's totally fine. I don't know why the Marowak was level 58. But then these guys are level 43. Like, why? Why are we like this? Now, what we'd have to prepare for is, I guess, Sabrina. And there's a lot of encounters we could get between now and Sabrina. Because we can now deal with Snorlax. We'll catch one of them. And then there's a bunch of encounters after that. 
It ended up being a shelter. <laughs> Unfortunate. I don't want to hurt it too much more here. So let's just dusk ball. Oh, easy. First ball. Holy shit. Easy, Snorlax. Cool. Okay, so that route's done. I think I'd better get Erica and Sabrina's badge before proceeding. That is so... So... Cr Are you serious? Can I at least do the bike path? If you show me a fully evolved starter capable of mega evolution, I'll give you its corresponding mega stone. Well, that's cringe. I don't have one of those. <laughs> Gyarados. That's my starter, dude. <laughs> Please tell me I at least get to do the bike path, man. No, dude. Come on. <sighs> All right. Well, this is going to make things a little tricky then. I guess the only information I would be okay with having is how many Pokemon does she have? And I don't even know. What other information would I be okay with? Maybe just some of the moves. I don't want to know which Pokemon has it. <laughs> Maybe if there's a couple wonky moves that she's going to have. So I really just, I don't want to know what Pokemon she has. I feel like that would be really cringe. But if I know at least a couple of the moves I'm going to be up against then that helps me with which Pokemon I might bring in. Is it six Pokemon? Erica had five, so I didn't know. Prepare for some nasty ground and water moves. Okay, good to know. There's another fight before Sabrina though, is there? Wait, can't I just go in there right now? Wait, what? Oh my God, I have to do Sylph Co first? Oh no, dude. Okay, well, then we don't even have to worry about this yet. So I have to do three major battles before I can even get any more encounters. That's crazy. Okay, well, in that case, please don't have any annoying battle at the very beginning of this, please. This will be a good way to get some money, potentially get our pseudo legend here. We have 149... Okay, so chat, chat, we could get our pseudo legendary Pokemon here. Okay, we have 150k, basically. Straw poll, straw poll, straw poll in the chat for which pseudo legendary we get. And then I am allowing us to get one more fossil. I kind of want to get Lilip because it's so good defensively. Good IVs too. Wow. I won't have to do much for the IVs here. And so it shall be. We are buying a Beldum. Uh, it's not terrible, not terrible. It's attack is okay, it's special attack's okay. Its defense is bad, which is not great, um, but it's serviceable. It's not horrible. I feel like we're going to be okay with Sylphsko. I, I think we're going to be able to get through that. I'm very much hoping we can get through that. I'm trying to think ahead of just like, what do we even have available, you know? If you guys want to know what my thinking is for what Sabrina's going to be like, my thinking is what I'm most likely going to run into is a lot of like magic guard, magic bounce kind of bullshit. I could also run into a lot of light screen kind of nonsense where it's like light screen and reflect stuff. So I'm trying to prepare a little bit for that. That's why I want these Pokemon that can kind of stall them out. Could also get really weird with it and go for, for some like trick room nonsense, which would suck, which is why I want stuff like bullet punch and fake out in case something like that happens. And then you stall out trick room. They could also do like some like ability swapping or getting rid of abilities altogether from some, some of my Pokemon. Like I, those are all the things that I'm trying to think of. Don't do priority for Sabrina. Oh, because she's probably going to have Psychic Terrain. She's probably going to have Psychic Terrain. Okay, so if I remember correctly, that is the square that brings me to the rival fight. And the Lapras. And then, oh, it's this one. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, I don't even have to do it yet. <laughs> it doesn't even make me do it. I thought the moment I took a step, it was going to make me fight him. I mean, we might as well just give this a shot, yeah? Like, we're already here. Fuck it. This is how we're going to end the stream, because it's 2 in the morning. Okay, Staraptor comes in first. Uh, this is an easy Toxic. Close combat, not an issue. Not an issue. <laughs> so, we know we don't want to stay in here against Staraptor because we don't want to lose Cordelia this early. Um, we're just going to go Gyarados here. Intimidate. Eat the close combat. Oh, it went for Brave Bird. Yeah, that probably makes sense, actually. Actually did quite a bit. That's fine. We'll just tank another 
hit. That's easy peasy. I mean, I could set up with agility here, maybe. Let's do that. Definitely, I'm definitely more interested now in ROM hacks than I was like a year ago. But some of them, like, sometimes the story is just like a little too cringe for me. Ooh. Uh, hi, Charizard. I mean, Gyarados is an option here, but we're already kind of low on health. And I didn't give him a Citrus Berry. Kind of see what it's going for, potentially. Okay. Okay. Is this X or Y version? This is Y version. Uh, that's a little scary. That's a little scary. Yeesh, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Yikes. We're just dead, I think. Yikes. Okay. Um, this might be the run killer. I'm not going to lie. I think I should have just let Metagross stay in and go for the Psy Shield Bass while we had the speed advantage. Uh, there's not a lot I can do here. We just got to go for Thunder Fang, outspeed, maybe do a lot of damage here. Hopefully it kills. That's so massive. Oh my god, I love Bolton so much. Oh my god. Oh, this Pokemon is so... Freaking good, man. Okay. Jump Pluff comes in. We have a Skizzers for a reason. Does it have a fire move, though? Is the question. <laughs> Maybe go Metagross here. Because it can tank pretty much anything here. Okay, it goes for Double Edge. That's totally fine. Holy shit. Why did that do so much? <laughs> why did that do so much? It's fine. We're stalling Sun Turns. Stalling the Sun Turns, chat. This is what Skizzers is for. We have dual wing beat. Why was that neutral? Did they change double edge in this game? Because that was insane. Its ability makes it a flying move. Oh. That's kind of crazy, actually. Okay, that makes sense, though. Ooh. That's not good. That's really not good. Wow, that's not good. Hmm. Well. There's, um, hmm. Hmm. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Doge is faster, yes. And we have Charm. It's electric and fighting, if that helps. Okay, we have Play Rough. And we have Charm. So we could lower that attack if we wanted to. Or we just Play Rough. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, come on! That's really bad. That's really bad. <laughs> That is so bad! Oh, that's so bad! How fast is this Electivire? It's max speed, Gyarados. I have 145 speed on it. Here's the play, okay? Here's the play. Alright? We Intimidate. We switch into Credilly. I don't know what this does, but this is what we're doing. And then... Oh, he still has another Pokemon. Oh, it's just GG. It's, ju it's just GG. It's literally just GG. It's just GG. It's just GG. Oh, man. That's crazy. I didn't think this rival fight was going to be this hard, man. I thought our team was pretty stacked, but apparently uh, this rival fight's just insane. It's been intimidated twice. I mean, this is the only way we somehow live is from the Wakonberry, but it's not going to matter. <laughs> yep. That sucks. We did what we could, the boys. Oh, we did. Hey, hey, listen, listen. I know it seems dire, okay? I know this feels sad, okay? It was a good run. I know it feels sad, but listen, listen, okay? I need you guys to understand. This was leagues ahead of any run we've had before leagues ahead we have a lot of strats to work with for the next run okay a lot of strats we understand 
so much more of this game than we used to. And now that we understand how easily we can EV train compared to previous runs, it should go smoother when we get to the Erica stuff. A big salute to the little run that could, you know? <laughs> this was whiteout number 15, everybody. Which means I do have to gift the sub. Every five whiteouts, I do have to gift the sub. There it is. Perhaps if I had charmed and then play roughed, maybe that was the play. Maybe that's all the difference, you know? Maybe that's all it would have taken. Taken, whatever.